Hi, Cookie Lucky. Where are we headed? Oh, We're, should we go there first? No, why not? We're going to go to where you proposed. Do I have a me? Everywhere. Today is a unique day. It marks the 10 year anniversary that I proposed to my wife, Bubby. So we're headed to my alma mater, the town where I grew up and where I went to college, Provo, Utah. A special place. <laughs> you I don't know what you did then. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go try to find the place where uh, I proposed my wife. Maybe I'll give you some backstory and cut to some B-roll and I'll tell that story right now. Evie and I aren't what you call a typical couple. We met each other in high school. We didn't date until we got in college. We connected on Facebook and I invited her to a local show that my brother was playing at in town. It was good times back then. Crazily enough, three months after we met, we got engaged. And this vlog is looking back and reminiscing about that. Evie and I really hit it off. Our chemistry was strong. We had to share the same values and beliefs and it was a no brainer that marriage was in our next sight. I took her out on a date this weekend to reminisce and all the places where we really shared our love. I used to work here at New Skin. This building's unique as it's relating to our religion and the place where you get married. This place burned down, unfortunately, but Los Hermanos was the restaurant we went to for our first date. There's our first house, that apartment right there. That's where we lived. And the pink house next to it with the creepy guys that were always on their front porch, and I had to go home by myself at night, and it was dark, and sometimes the light was off, and they'd watch me, and I'd be like, now I attended Brigham Young University, got a degree in humanities with an emphasis in business, and my wife went to school at UVU. We went to many athletic events, we studied the library together, and we fell in love. Ah yeah, BYU. And here is where Evie lived, the university apartments. I'd pick her up on dates and we go to the library here and act like we were studying and only just flirting. This is where we got married. This is the Provo, Utah Temple, similarly to that other building earlier that you saw. After a while of searching, we found where I proposed. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was the road past the, the Olympics. Here. I don't know. Or if it was now the real chore is to find where it's at. Now I feel like this is too high. No, I think I, I think I know it's at. Uh, man, I didn't realize there are such rich houses up here. Uh, turn here. Summit. They were. Foothill Trails Park, I think that's it. Yeah, it could be here because they're building homes here. <laughs> there was nothing up here. Pokemon Go. Oh my gosh, look at that bird. Blue it's jay. like if you've never seen that bird before and it's not a blue jay. It's huge. It's beautiful. Is this how the next 10 years is going to be, Evie? You're just going to tell me what to do? I mean, I always tell you what to do. <laughs> Evie thinks it was up here. So. No, I'm not saying it was like right there. I'm saying the trail's there. We Let's just park and walk up these this, this trail. What do you remember of the proposal? It rained. I know, but like leading up to it. Oh, I knew you were gonna propose. Are you gonna be able to make it? Can't breathe. This very well could be it. I think it is. This spot right here? Yeah, right here. No. Because this wasn't developed. This area wasn't developed. There is significant controversy of where we actually proposed because at the time, none of these homes were here. The homes didn't come up this high and there was construction on the road and they were also building this trail. And so I honestly think it was literally right here. It was literally right here because we were hefting up a hill. I remember it vividly in my brain. We were hefting up the hill and I was so nervous. I had it in my back pocket, in my hand, kind of like clutched in my pocket. And my wife, 
well, Evie at the time, she had no idea. She was completely oblivious of, of she's glaring at me, right? <laughs> I'm tired, Evie, I can't breathe. Anyway, so I said, I got, I got to like this point right here. I'm like, hey babe. I said, no, hey, sweetie, just a second. Let's stop and look at the view. And I stopped right here and I said, hey, isn't this a gorgeous view? <laughs> what do you do? Do you remember what you did? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And then, let me kiss. And then I forgot to put the ring on her finger, and so I pulled it out. And when I literally pulled it out like this, it went ding! And the ring flew out of the box. <laughs> you remember that? Let's see if I you can so still nervous. hear the sound. No, no, no! Don't do that! We're gonna lose the rock! You're crazy! They replace it. No, they won't. Not after they see this video. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, and then I go chasing after it. I was like, oh my gosh, baby. I picked it up and then you came over and you're like, is it okay? That was so embarrassing. And then I put it on your finger. <laughs> Ow. I can't breathe. Will you marry me, baby? <laughs> Will you marry Wrong me? hand. Oh yeah. It was just... And then you came and you jumped to my arms. Mm. We flung. <laughs> Too far. No, what but that, that hurt my stomach. What was that noise? It was me going, ugh. It was like... Really? Yeah, you hurt baby. Sorry, baby. Actually, baby's down here. You hurt me. I'm sorry. I can't stop looking at this front one. True love, boys and girls. Ten years ago. Ten years. Today. Everything's that this isn't the spot, but this is the spot, I promise. Baby. <laughs>